Hey guys, what's up everybody? Um, this is the Knife's Meow, and today we have a few unboxings. Um, just two, really. So these are both sent from the same guy, um, Eric. He sent me the McBee and the Monolock and the Techno, and so um, he sent me a few more things. So I'm going to go ahead and start un um, unboxing these. However, I am going to do it off the table, and I am going to put my phone in a little, you know, phone holder thingy so I'm gonna do that however <laughs> the thing is not very stable and it has a way of every time I touch the table it just it shakes it's like fucking Cloverfield okay it's pretty bad so I'm gonna do that but I am gonna take this off the table while I cut into it because it is a mess and I don't want you guys having seizures when I'm trying to do an unboxing because then nobody will watch it okay so give me one sec and I'll set up my phone Okay, so today what I'm using for my unboxing is the uh, Ferrum Forge Mass Drop Buck um, that I've anodized and I I decked out. Um, did a lightning anno. I don't have my clip on there. There's a reason I'm polishing it up. Um, so I did an, it's an acid washed blade. And the reason why I don't have it in light right now is because this light, it's so polished that like you won't be able to see it. So... Um, so we've got a lightning anodized scales, we got acid wash blade that I did. Okay, well, now that you've seen the anno, I think I'm just gonna have the light come back over here. And I did, and then I put that edge on it. Sorry, the edge is a little dirty, it has some tape on it. But it is a really pretty edge, I did a really good job on it. No, there's still some sharpie. Um, nice stone wash, so I, I etched it and then I used, um, medium to fine uh media for uh for stone washing and then i went ahead and i went it's a pretty high voltage if, i don't remember it off the top of my head but this is like a purple teal and i i polished the backspacer by hand because there was no way i mean look at that it's so pretty it's hard to tell now and, and it's fingerprinted to death so there's that all right so i'm gonna take this off the table and i'm gonna start cutting into it Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Okay, give me one sec, guys. Okay, so, first up. So first up, we have uh, a box from McNeese. Um, seems kind of like a thing, doesn't it? So, okay. Oh, I remember. All right, so. This is the McNeese Mac 2, and um, this is from McNeese's performance machine line, and from what I remember, he does the, the sharpening and the locks, and he does the tuning of D10 and everything like that, um, however, everything else is outsourced, but it is still made here in the US of A, and from what I've read, that is very important to him. So, he just wanted to keep it made here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this thing is so dope. <laughs> so this is my first time handling a McNeese in a deck. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. It's got a beautiful stonewashed blade. Look at that. It's like almost it's it's polish. But it is a very near, near, near polish. It's very pretty. Look at that. Woo. And that also has some, um, come on, focus. So it has, um, some orange peeling right there on the pivot. It has some blasted thumb studs and, um, those look like nice screws. They're really deep. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but. Oh, and there's also, let me see, some weight relief in there. Oh, let me turn this over. It's, you'll probably be able to see it better. See the weight relief? That's nice. Nothing crazy, but it, it does. It is nice. It doesn't feel as, like, heavy as you would think it would for these solid slabs of titanium. Then again, I don't like heavy knives, so. Um, alright. Oh, and it looks like the, the screws go back into the lock scale. And, yeah, I really, really like this. Like, really like this. Listen to this. Ready? 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 Yes. Fuck yeah, that's so dope. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, I mean, if my bank account wouldn't cry, I would buy one of these. 
for sure. It's my size. Definitely my size. And like, okay, anyways, I'm about to go on a rant. Sorry. All right, let's open the next box. Give me one second and I will grab it. Okay, so here we go. Box Okay, so we have a Spyderco box. Um, this is the Techno 2, and I've already done a Techno 2 for him, and it too was also engraved. Um, however, with this one, what he wants done is that he wants to keep the engraving, whereas on the other one, he wanted me to remove the engraving. So, but then blast it. The other one I blasted and then I anodized it a dark blue and it was beautiful. I loved it. Um, just subtle, nice, dark blue. It looked really, really good. Um, but I love this knife. I love the size of this knife. I love everything about this knife. And I've been on the fence for so long about buying one. The only reason I haven't bought one it's because Richie already has one. And so it's like, it took the edge off of me wanting to buy one because I can handle one like pretty much whenever I want. See, look, I'm touching the table and this thing is just shaking away. But, um, yeah, man, I love this knife. And I know there are people out there who don't like this knife, which personally I just don't understand. It's amazing. But I also understand that, like, for the size of this knife, <laughs> I mean, that blade suck is ridiculous. And the grind is, like, it's kind of shitty. I mean, it's not a shitty grind. It's just thick AF. So, um, yeah. I mean, I love this knife. And so I, what he wants is to, to keep the engraving, remove this bronze anno. Um, I know there's a fat glare from my light being so close, but this is this is bronze. Um, yeah. All right, let me, let me show you this one. I don't know if I really, like, showed you. And this is the Mac 2. This is in 20 CV. It's also got a bronze anno. Um, however, this one looks like... I don't know what happened to that one. Something, someone did something. So, um, it's like the blast was removed and it's almost kind of a satin with a high satin. I don't know. Who knows? So, this is bronze anno and the same thing. I mean, this one's not engraved, but what he wants is he wants me to remove the anno and then blast it like I've done to all of his other knives. And, uh, the square head, the McBee, um, I have a sage that I'm working on. Okay, that, not all of them because the sage is different. That one has some wink and he wants, I mean, I get free reign on doing anything I want with that. I've just been really busy working on essays and whatever. I have one that's due today and, um, yeah. So, man. Sorry guys, I'm just, I'm just enjoying it. I can't help it. Okay, so, so we've got the McB, the, I mean, sorry, we got the Techno. I mean, like, and also, what I forgot to mention, pretty sure, pretty sure, both of the Technos were uh, etched by, or laser etched by McNeese himself. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, come on. Just a thought. Just maybe. I mean, I don't I don't know. Maybe somebody else did it and he just used the McNeese logo. But I'm, I mean, pretty sure it was done by McNeese. But yeah. Okay. So. Alright. So that's going to wrap up this unboxing. Um, we've got the Techno 2. We've got the Mac 2. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you like knives, if you like cats, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and thank you so much. Catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.